Well, I'm dressed up sort of like outside. Actually, I could wear a sock hat and all that, but I do have my boots on and other things because I was watching the Kansas City-New England playoff game. Game time temperature, Kansas City, 19 degrees. They didn't have much snow, but clearly it was cold. And I was thinking, you know, this really is what playoff football is about uh, for Browns fans. We need, those of us who care about the team, start seeing teams, our team playing either home or road when the weather is cold and you can see the puffs of white smoke coming out of the mouths of the uh, players uh, where people are going crazy on every call, just where it's a big deal. And then I thought, well, when was the last time actually the Browns were in the playoffs? It was after the 2002 season. Actually, the year was uh, the date was January 5th, 2003, and I was at the game, Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. And some of us may have a, a typical bad Browns memory of the game. Right away, they might say, "Oh, that was the Dennis Northcott drop game," you know, where that ball went just right through Northcott's hands. At that point, the Browns had a 33-28 lead on the Steelers. A little over three minutes to go. Third and seven, all Northcutt has to do is catch that pass. Browns run out the clock. They beat the Steelers. They go to the second round of the playoffs. Well, what a game that was to think back. Kelly Holcomb was the quarterback. It was a snow-swirling day. Kelly Holcomb from Tennessee acted like he was born in Duluth, Minnesota, or, you know, Right up in our snowboat, up in Chardon. No problem with the snow, throwing the ball over the place. In fact, one of the things that came out of that game was if you have a quarterback who can throw the ball in snow and cold weather, it actually is a good advantage, especially when it's hard to, the footing is very iffy and slippery. The receiver knows where he's going, the defender doesn't. Um, a lot of receivers are open that game if you can catch the ball and throw it in the cold. Kelly Holcomb, 429 yards he threw for that day. 429 yards. But, you know, this is the Browns. So here we are. It's the fourth quarter. The Browns are in control of this game. At one point, they were up 24 to 7. Just catch the ball, run out the clock. But you know what happens? They end up getting outscored 22 to 9 in the fourth quarter. They lose 36 to 33 to the Steelers. And who thought that would be the last time the Browns would be in the playoffs? And actually, who thought at the start of the 2018 season that heading into 2019, we might start thinking, yes, the P word, not just potential, playoffs for the Browns. Here's a little difference. You know, Kelly Holcomb was a backup quarterback much of his career. Now and then he would get hot. By the way, that 2002 game, spelled kind of the end of Tim Couch with the Browns. I mean, they came back in 2003. That's when Butch Davis named Kelly Holcomb the starter because he said he, quote, had a gut feeling, a gut feeling there that Kelly Holcomb would do better than Tim Couch would. Frankly, both of them struggled in 2003, Bella, uh, and Butch Davis just kind of fell apart. A couple other things happened in that playoff game in 2002 that really, I think, uh, impacted the franchise. In the second half of that game with the Browns up by a couple of touchdowns, Butch Davis had a conflict with Foge Fazio, F-O-G-E Fazio. Foge Fazio, a longtime defensive coordinator. He was the guy who liked to blitz a lot. Davis wanted them to play prevent defense, and in the second half of that game, Butch Davis took over the defensive play calling, which then caused a split in the coaching staff. Bruce Arians, who was an offensive coordinator for the Browns that year, got very upset by what Davis did to Fazio. You have basically a split of a lot of people in that coaching staff leaving. Chuck Pagano was on that staff also, later became a head coach, uh, having to do with kind of how Butch handled that whole situation. And then the infatuation with Tilly Holcomb led to Couch kind of falling out of favor, although at that point, too, Tim Couch was falling apart because of injuries. So we never had a real big cold weather game again. Okay, I know, Christmas Eve, 2017, the Browns beat the Chargers. Jamie Meter blocked the field goal. It was the one thing that they did all year, so they didn't go all in 16 in 2017. But in 2018, of course, they did. But as I'm dressed up here, I'm just hoping for fans 
maybe as soon as after the 2019 season. You could put on your boots and your sweater and your coat, maybe get that hood up, say, it's January, it's a Brownstown, I'm going to a game. 